Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. In this video today, I am going to be teaching you uh, how to create uh, words of power, prayers, spells, how to create your own, and how they can build up power through just you. So, these words of power, these are basically words that not only hold some place in your heart, but they also have real feeling, real energy, real power associated with them. Uh, they are, for example, like verses in a Bible, if they make you feel comfortable, then that's adding more energy to uh, a, that particular verse. Um, so if you use it anytime like you feel threatened or afraid, and it brings you comfort, obviously you're going to put more faith in that uh, as time goes on. Uh, when you first create words of power, they may not feel as strong, or sometimes you may feel that they have no effect. Uh, that will subside the more you use it. Uh, creating spells and prayers of your own is not hard. Um, it really requires only a few ingredients. Number one, of course, is a pencil or pen. It can really be either. If you want to use any kind of uh, marker or something, or even a crayon, I would just make sure it's legible in case you're not the only one using it, or, uh, or sometimes you have the problem where you can't read your own writing. Just make sure it's legible. A uh, piece of paper, of course, it can be any kind of paper. It can be just regular white paper, or if you want to get fancy, it could be a parchment paper or your own special kind of paper. It really doesn't matter. As long as it embodies what you are trying to get out of it. Like, if it has a color that's associated with maybe a deity that you're trying to create a prayer to, then that would work even more. Um... You can add certain things to the prayer, like creating little symbols around it that are associated with what you are trying to do. Uh, intent is the third thing. Intent. So, it's basically, uh, don't just write the words. Actually believe that they have energy. And as you're writing this, in visual, like... <sighs> Visualize, or envision, what you want to have happen. As you're writing the words, think of in your mind what you want them to do. And uh, imagine them already working. Like, envision yourself using them already, and them holding power. So, if you just write the words, but have no feeling with it, then obviously it's going to have no power whatsoever. But if you at least write this with some will and intent and envision the outcome while you're writing this, it's at least going to have some basics of power. So that is something to build off of as you keep using it more. Now for spells and prayers, they do not have to rhyme. They do not have to be in Latin or any kind of other language. If you want to and you can understand the language, fine. Fine. I have written some uh, spells or prayers that are like mostly English, but some that I've translated into uh, Latin and others that... These were words that came into my head as during meditation, and they, I do not know what language they are, but they are very powerful. They, uh, I've used them before, and they're very strong. I do not understand Latin whatsoever. This is basically me on Google Translate. So I don't even know if it's accurate, but I hope it is. <laughs> Now, what I have here in my hand is a prayer to St. Michael. Uh, he is one of my spirit guides that I call upon uh, whenever I feel threatened or in danger. And uh, there is no Latin in here. It's all English. 
but I've written it down and I've used it quite a few times. And um, I'm going to show you guys. So, of course, um, it's the St. Michael prayer right here. Um, I have, you know, it's pretty long and it also has three symbols that I actually researched. And these are all protective symbols, symbols that uh, have to do with St. Michael. So I figured that that would add a little bit more strength to it. And uh, I'm going to read you guys the prayer myself. You guys can use the prayer if you want. It's not my own private prayer. You guys can use it. St. Michael the Archangel, I ask you to be present in this time of need. Fill this house with holy light and surround me with your loving embrace. For only positivity, love, and happiness can prosper here. No evil shall enter my home, nor will negativity shroud my life. Defend us from the slings and arrows of the world, as well as the darkness that tries to consume us. Arm our mind, heart, and spirit. Give us strength in times of stress and strife. Our energy shall be in tune with the heavens and the earth. Our magic shall provide us with the knowledge to fight on. In your loving name, St. Michael, the Archangel, protect us. Blessed be. Now, if you are someone of the Christian faith, obviously you can just uh, replace Blessed Be with Amen. Um, I've also added another uh, sealing word that I've created myself, and it's worked quite a few times. It's actually associated with a spiritual path that I'm trying to create my own. I'm actually creating gods for it and um, guidelines. It's not really a strict spiritual path that like requires you to do really anything except for, you know, respect people, respect the earth and whatnot. So it's something very, very easy to follow. I haven't really finished it yet, but I've also added a, um, a end sealing word. I'm not going to reveal that to you guys yet because um, I'm still in the process of creating the spiritual path. Uh, eventually, I once I do finish it, I will let you guys in on the spiritual path, the deities. So if you guys are still wondering about a spiritual path, um, this will provide you with another option if you want to follow it. Uh, so far, the only one who knows about it is me. <laughs> I haven't really told it to anyone. Uh, so if you guys want to hear about this uh, spiritual path that I'm creating... Uh, just say something in the comments, and um, if I get a lot of people saying, oh yes, I do want to see it, then I'm going to put in some more effort to try and finish and complete uh, the Pantheon and the guidelines and uh, the spells, and I will eventually reveal that to you guys later down the line. Um, as uh, I'm not a Wiccan, I would call, I'm a witch. I call myself a witch. There are male witches. Uh, I prefer to, uh, I'm an eclectic witch, which means I, I take techniques and spells and prayers from different ones or make my own from different spiritual paths. So I put Blessed Be down. You could also put So Moted Be, uh, which is another, it's basically just a sealing of the prayer or spell. So as you can see, uh, probably tell that there's no uh, rhyming. You don't have to rhyme. It's sometimes fun to rhyme, and it, it, it kind of helps you remember the prayer by heart in case you don't have, like, a reference. Uh, but usually I have this close at hand. So um, I have this usually. If I feel something that's negative or if my life is not really going you know, how I wanted to, I'll just, uh, call upon St. Michael and say the prayer that I made, and it really does help me feel better, and you guys can't feel this, but, um, I feel the paper, and it kind of, like, vibrates in your hand as I touch it. It's almost like this has, like, some kind of energetic or electrical flow going through it. It feels like it's, like, vibrating like this, but... Even when it's standing still, I mean, it feels like there's something emanating from it. So, uh, that says to me that this is actually firm words of power. They really work. 
uh, the more faith you have in your own words, the better. The more belief, the more energy you put in it, the stronger it gets. So if you don't feel anything right away, just continue saying it. And uh, anytime you feel like you need it, just have faith, have belief, and start saying your words calmly and with confidence. And keep it going until you get the desired effect. Uh, I have created other words, other prayers, other spells. Uh, I won't fill you guys in on that because it's in my Book of Shadows, uh, which is kind of private to uh, the person who makes it, so to each their own. But I have created prayers and spells other than that. So... It is very, very easy to create words of power. It doesn't really take too much effort. Um, just write down clearly what you want the prayer or spell to do. So clearly, so for example, I, I ask of St. Michael to be here with me and to help protect me and fill this house with white light or holy light. So basically, clear, I want the uh, angel St. Michael to clear out any negative energy that is within this house that's making me feel uncomfortable. So just state clearly what you want. Even repeat it in the prayer if need be. Uh, you could even uh, say the spell or prayer three times. Three is actually a pretty strong number. It's a magical number. Uh, it reflects the threefold rule of Wiccan belief. Whatever you send out to the universe comes back to you times three, whether it be positive or negative. So um, it really is a very strong number. A lot of pagans have been using the number three in their magical rituals for centuries. Uh, some things that they will practice three times. Uh, other times they will uh, repeat uh, a spell or a phrase three times even a ceiling uh, spell a ceiling word blessed be I could say three times blessed be blessed be blessed be and uh, that could add a little bit more magical strength so if you want to create your own um, ceiling word ceiling words are just tiny little words kinda like amen in the Christian prayer it is basically just to represent uh, the finishing of the prayer, to seal it, and to uh, let the prayer to God, you know, send out to him so that he can uh, hear you and fulfill it. Uh, so basically, this is what blessed be or so mote it be is, as well as the own, my own word that I have uh, chosen to make. You guys can even make your own sealing word. That's up to you. Words of power are very strong. They may not seem like much, but they are very strong. And also, another thing you can do. So, during a magical ritual, uh, it really could be any kind. If there's a particular spell or ritual that you really want it to work, you really want to send it out to who uh, the god or spirit or the universe for it to receive it and complete it for you. You can take it in a piece of paper. You can write it down three times. You can say it three times on the thing, then fold it up and burn it. Now this is the original copy, so I'm not going to burn it. But if I want to write it on another smaller piece of paper three times, and I'll say it three times, I'll fold it up, and I'll set it ablaze, and I'll let the smoke waft up into the atmosphere, sending it to the higher planes where the deities and other gods live, so that they can receive it and help me with the prayer spell. So that is another way of utilizing words of power. Oh yes, guys. I'm actually going to show you something really cool. 
All right, guys, I'm about to show you what I got at a spiritual store near me. And it took me a while to hang them up, but I think they are really nice. So if you guys are wondering what these are, these are called Terra prayer flags or Tibetan prayer flags, if I can unfurl one. Uh, obviously, you see they have a picture of, it looks like Buddha. It's either Buddha or Shiva. I believe it's Buddha. And it's got Sanskrit written all over it. I believe that's Sanskrit. And um, these are basically for promoting passion, compassion, um, peace, and prosperity in one's home. Now, according to uh, Tibetan beliefs, they are actually meant to be hung outside of one's house. And as they deteriorate, of course, they are sent out into nature and to your neighbors as the wind blows so the prayers can reach them as well. Uh, I don't really want them to be destroyed, so I figured hanging them in the house would be nice. They preferably want them above a doorway, but unfortunately, there's nowhere to hang it in the door up down here. So I just decided to hang them up. You guys can create prayer flags, too. Um, you can make them out of fabric. You can actually make them out of paper if you want, but uh, preferably uh, fabric is the way to go, and you can paint on it with some fabric acrylic paint. I kind of want to make my own one day. Uh, you can make them for any deity or uh, maybe multiple. Now, one thing about the Tibetan prayer flags is that I heard it's disrespectful for them to touch the ground, so before I could hang these, I basically put them in a drawer because I didn't want them to touch the ground and disrespect uh, the gods. So I finally was able to hang them up. And uh, as you can see, they're actually hung up pretty much. And then there's my <laughs> my jellyfish. And of course, I got this cute little dolphin. And so I got that all. So I think it, added, uh, bleh, I think it really actually adds a very nice... Uh, energy to the room. I'm hoping that it will help provide peace, especially in these times, 2020. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that that's another way that words of power or prayers can be used. I don't really know what these say, but I heard what they represent. So I think that's pretty good for me. <laughs> All right, guys. So knowing what you know now, I hope that this can bring you one step closer along your spiritual path and becoming a witch, a wizard, a warlock, whatever one wishes to be called. Uh, prayers are powerful. Spells can be very powerful. Words of power. You are the only person that limits the amount of power that they can have because you're the one who writes them. So it's all about belief, faith, and intention. Bring all these into your work, whether you're writing a book, whether you are making a video like I am now, make sure you give intent and eventually it will send the right energy and the right message to whoever is seeing your work. All right, guys, that's all for Spiritual Essence. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, if you like this video, please share it to anybody who you feel like could utilize this information uh, and like this yourself and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any new videos that come along. All right, guys, thank you so much. Good luck on your spiritual path and may white light shroud your life. <laughs>